Okay, hi guys, welcome to this unboxing of the Campfire Audio Dorado. Uh, this is unboxing only, so if you're here for a review, it won't be up until sort of, a week, 10 days, maybe a little bit more than that, depending how fast I go. Um, purely an unboxing, so if you're not into that, just click off now. So, first thing, this is the new size Campfire Audio Boxes. They used to do one that was sort of half the size of this um, this is a more yeah this square box um, and you'll find it very typical across the campfire range like there's the Vega and all of the newer models have this box regardless of price and um, with differing designs on the outside uh, the Dorado is a return to the ceramic housings that they originally did on my favorite Campfire Audio headphones, the the original Lyra. Um, so they're going back to the ceramic on these two earphones and this one has a single TEA-C balanced armature for the highs and a, I believe a, a single dynamic driver in it as well. Um, so you're getting that balance of the, the lows and the mids by the dynamic driver and the highs being done by the TEA rack. Um, I'll go ahead and pop the little gold foil off. Uh, the one thing about the campfire is the presentation is spectacular. Um, it really gives you that sort of special feeling when you get it, as you're about to see when I do this. And you get that starburst um, packaging effect with the night sky the mountains and campfire audio logo. We'll put that to the side. You have the inner box. I think it's all recycled materials as well, which is good. And this is a new case. Accessories pouch and your manual and warranty. So if I go ahead and pull this out and show you the accessories. These used to be the individual bags to hold the earphones uh, to stop them banging together but now they include a few of them to give you some of the ear tips. Um, as you can see multiple silicon tips, three different sizes, four different sizes. And nothing else there. Second bag, I'm going to guess this is comply tips, so multiple comply tips. Uh, and here you get the little campfire audio pin badge and oh, so these tips uh, here the silicon tips are the final audio e series tips which are in my opinion the best tips on the market uh, a little cleaning tool keep them free of dirt put all that to the side new case um, this isn't great um, you know, this happens when you put material down onto a more rigid surface and you get the the glue drying. So I'm sure it's not meant to be like that, um, but it's just sort of a, a process uh, of the, the glue and the material expanding and drying. Um, either way, it's, it's, it's more rigid than the other cases feel. It feels quite nice. Campfire Audio logo, um, Campfire Audio zipper. And inside, you have the sort of sheepskin lining. And the earphones. So, wow. Okay, these are beautiful. Uh, these are actually even better looking than the original Lyra model. Uh, they've got more of a, a brighter appearance, sort of like a metallic grey. Um, not really picking up that many fingerprints, although I think that will be a problem. Take the comply tip off. It seems to be a new guard. Um, the original guard used to be like oval cutouts. Um, detachable cables. There you go, detachable MMCX. Um, 
the cable, this is the Solaris. The cable is a little bit less thick, but similar sort of design and quality. Uh, campfire audio hardware there. Uh, actually this time there is a metal splitter and cinch. Uh, so that's good. And yeah, looks to be really, really impressive. Uh, actually it is picking up the fingerprints now. Um, no, I'm excited about these because, as I say, the the original Lyra were one of my favourite earphones that the, the company put out, and I think it had something to do with the, the hardness of the, the ceramic shell and its acoustic properties. Um, so I'm very excited about this. Um, and I'll get on and I'll do a full review and have it up, as I say, within sort of a week, two weeks, uh, if you check back on the channel. So next up is going to be an uh, unboxing of the Vega 2020, a uh, similar sort of video. If you're not into an unboxing, don't bother to watch. Um, and the review for the Vega will also be up uh, around about a similar time as this one. So cheers, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.